families have a lot of expenses, and when you tally up diapers for the baby, the dollars add up quickly. But some moms say there are many ways to save big on diapers. Local 12's Sheila Gray shows us how in tonight's Family 411 report. Let's color those gray. Mother of three, Casey Schwartz, is an expert on diapers. Diapers are expensive. Casey runs an in-home daycare, so she's changed thousands of them. And full disclosure, I've helped her change a few. She's also my daughter. I think the reason diapers are so expensive is because the quality of the diapers. People in the disposable diaper business say parents want quality. They want diapers that don't leak, that absorb for hours, and don't hurt their baby's skin. And families can spend $50 to $85 a month. Put Peppa at the computer, like Mama. Casey's blog, All Things Mama, connects her with other moms and businesses, and she's learned a few tricks about saving. Her first tip, go to diaper websites and sign up for coupons and rewards programs. Then watch store ads and apps for sales and bundle the savings. Casey's found ways to pile up savings at Target. They'll also offer a gift card off when you buy maybe two packages. And then they also have their Cartwell app that will have a percentage or a discount. Plus they also have their store app. Her second tip, check diaper delivery services like diapers.com or Amazon for price matching. Plus, they'll save you a trip to the store. Casey says she's saved money with her third child by switching to cloth diapers. This outside cover is leak proof. But even cloth can cost in the hundreds to get a supply big enough to keep you from doing laundry every day. Make sure you learn how to take care of them to pass them down from child to child. You might be able to cut costs by connecting with moms in your area to buy them gently used. Facebook and blogs like Casey's are good places to look for moms' networks. My parents' generation, they were um, potty trained by like 18 months. Blogger Charlotte Edwards says earlier toilet training saves money, no matter what diapers parents choose. I Skyped with her from her home in China, where parents start toilet training their babies in the first weeks of life. With her mother-in-law's help, Charlotte's son was routinely not wearing diapers by the age of five months. And, you know, they're not going to open their mouth and start saying, Mommy, I need to go. Um, you have to pay attention to the, you know, cues. Charlotte wrote about the experience for PennyHoarder.com after she found some women trying it in the U.S. But for her, earlier toilet training is more than a cost savings practice. It's a huge impact on the environment. It does take a lot more time, so it's not for everyone. Charlotte and Casey both recommend doing some research on what works best for your family and lifestyle. I show you. And you can be sure your baby will help you learn too. Sheila Gray, Local 12 News. <laughs> Potty training at a couple of weeks old? That is wild, isn't it? I think my kids were like five or six or seven years old. Okay, not really if you're watching. I'm kidding, kids. Anyway, diapers are a serious concern for families who are struggling financially. Food stamps and WIC assistance don't pay for them, so the National Diaper Network has a list of resources. You can search by state at local12.com, and we also have links to the blogs that Sheila showed us. Just click on the red Get It button. You can find them right there. My girls are going to kill me. They're, I know. They're on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, Mom. What are you I'm doing I'm sorry. To she'll me? have to get back to you. <laughs>